AWS, GCP, or Azure? Which one do you pick? This is a question that gets asked so much in our community. And honestly, it is a tough question because it does actually matter. And the problem is that every article that you read, every video that you watch, they contradict each other. One will say Azure is definitely the answer. And then another one will say that AWS is gonna reign supreme forever. Problem with that is that most people just give up before they start. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know to choose the right cloud provider for your career. I'll start off by looking at the numbers so you know exactly where the jobs are. Then I'll show you the differences between industries and also the regional differences and how important they can be. I'll also tackle the multi-cloud dilemma. Should you learn one or should you learn multiple cloud platforms? And then I'll give you a practical framework at the end to actually map out your career path. Plus there's a bonus, I'll also show you a way to get started for free that over 80,000 people are using. This is going to be a longer video than usual, but it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Let's get straight into it. When it comes to cloud providers, there's three big players, AWS, GCP, and Azure. AWS has about a 32% market share, Azure at around 23%, and GCP around 10%. But market share only tells part of the story, so let's look into job opportunities. So the latest data I could find from LinkedIn shows that AWS related jobs, there's about 150,000 open right now. Azure, there's about 67,000, and GCP, there's about 29,000. But actually what's even more interesting to me is the job posting growth rate over the last year. So AWS jobs have grown about 15% year on year, which is pretty solid. But Azure positions have increased by 31% and GCP roles have expanded by 27%. Now these numbers tell an important story here. While AWS remains the market leader, Azure and GCP jobs are growing at twice the rate of AWS. Those numbers are pretty conclusive, but before you go and pick Azure or GCP, we need to look into which industries prefer which cloud providers, because this is where a lot of career insights actually lie. So let's look at some key sectors and examine which cloud providers dominate which industry. All right, so if you're interested in financial services, AWS dominates here with around 30% market share, then Azure at 25, and then GCP around 12. Big banks like Capital One or JP Morgan use AWS, so it's no surprise that they have a dominant market share here. But if you're interested in healthcare, then Azure actually has a 35% market share. AWS is sitting around 30, and GCP is around 15%. Now with retail and e-commerce, it's a different story again. AWS is around 33% market share, then Azure at 20%, and GCP around 12%. In a sector like media and entertainment, AWS dominates with around 40%, followed by Azure at 20, and then GCP around 15%. Now AWS does host Netflix, Disney plus hulu but i would note that gcp has also made some improvements now supporting spotify and youtube obviously in terms of government related sectors it's actually quite split between aws and azure around 35 percent market share for aws and around 30 percent market share for azure but this depends by country one thing i want to note that i couldn't find exact statistics on is ai data and machine learning now from my research and talking to countless people in the industry gcp is often the forerunner when it comes to innovation in this space and it's typically very well respected so even though they may not have the same market share as aws and azure they are innovating a lot and are getting a lot of newer companies and startups on board. So I would definitely keep that in mind as well. So to me, the patterns are pretty clear. AWS usually leads in market share, but Azure dominates in healthcare and is pretty competitive everywhere else. And GCP is gaining ground, especially in areas related to data, AI, and machine learning. Oh, and by the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button as it really helps our channel out and we appreciate it so much. Anyway, moving on to the next point. But now let's go into regional job market variation. I'll quickly touch on this point because it is important, but obviously cloud roles vary by region and you should definitely factor this into your decision. For example, in the US where AWS is headquartered in Seattle, there's typically more job postings for AWS in that region. Same with in New York or Austin, but Azure has more of a strong presence in Chicago or Atlanta, just like GCP has a strong presence in Silicon Valley where their headquarters are located. And European job markets would show different trends. For example, in the UK, it's fairly balanced between AWS and Azure, but from my research, I can see that AWS is slightly ahead. Or in APAC regions, jobs vary widely. In Japan, Azure leads the market, particularly in enterprise related roles. But India has had a strong AWS presence, particularly in Bangalore or Hyderabad. But there's definitely pockets that are strong there for Azure or GCP as well. Point is that where you are currently may make a big impact into the jobs that you can find in your region. And that should definitely factor into your decision making if you're trying to find a role, especially if you're not willing to move cities. So make sure you do some research into platforms like LinkedIn, Indeed, Seek. We can try and look for jobs within your area, find out if there is a bias for particular cloud providers in your region. Next up, I'm going to be talking about the big multi-cloud. Should you learn multiple cloud platforms in 2025 and onward? Well, according to Flexera's 2025 State of the Industry report, 87% of enterprises use a multi-cloud strategy. And obviously there are benefits if you do learn multiple clouds. For example, there's broader job opportunities. Having more skills means that you can unlock more jobs. There's higher salary potential for senior roles because you're going to get paid more for the advanced knowledge that you have. And of course, there is insurance against market changes because if suddenly the market swings towards a particular cloud provider, which I don't think that's going to happen, you are future-proofing yourself because you know 
multiple cloud solutions. But I just wanna make it super clear that there are drawbacks to this as well. Now, if you're getting into cloud, you don't have much experience. If you try and focus on all three platforms, you're gonna be much slower than someone just focusing on one. You actually run the risk of having shallow knowledge across all three rather than domain specific knowledge about one. Which if you think about it as a recruiter, why would you pick someone that doesn't have much knowledge about all three instead of someone that has a lot of knowledge about one and can actually help you implement solutions? My recommendation is that you start with depth and then you add breadth. The master one platform first based on your industry and regional analysis. And from there, a lot of the services between AWS, GCP, Azure, are actually pretty much the same, they just have different names. So to me, understanding the core concepts of cloud computing, networking, storage, compute, databases is much more important when you're first starting out as that is gonna allow you to later on be able to pick up other cloud platforms really easily. So now that we have all of this in mind, let's put this together in a practical framework to help you choose a cloud provider. First thing I do is assess your skills. Do you have any existing technical skills or things you could leverage to get into a particular cloud provider faster? For example, if you're working within a company that specializes in GCP, is there a way for you to gain more experience in GCP by switching teams or by upskilling or working on projects that might involve you learning about GCP? You need to assess where you are right now and where you want to get to in the future. Then what you need to do is research your target industry. So identify what field you want to get into and then see who dominates that industry. Maybe you want to work for a specific company and you can find that right now they are running on this particular cloud provider. So step three, consider your regional factors. Look at job postings for your specific industry in your area. Note down the salary ranges and if there's an the opportunity to potentially work remote. And then lastly, match your career to your goals. So if you're seeking maximum job opportunity right now, AWS is probably going to offer the most positions overall and it's especially good for beginners. If you're targeting IT enterprise environment, then Azure is probably the best option, especially if you have experience in the Microsoft ecosystem. System. If you want to focus on cutting edge data or AI work, then Google Cloud offers the strongest platform right now and probably one of the highest ceilings in terms of salary caps. If you're interested in startups, AWS dominates the space, but GCP is definitely picking up on the AI and data side. Now, as I said at the start of the video, if you want to get into cloud and particularly AWS, I'd recommend our website here. You can get started for free and you can actually put in a goal that you have. So let's say you want to become a cloud engineer. You don't have any experience right now. You can actually type that into the goal setting area and we will give you projects based on your goal. And these projects are hands-on. So you will learn step-by-step step how to actually create things in the cloud, which is what recruiters are looking for in 2025. You need to show recruiters that you can actually build things in the cloud, document your projects, and have critical thinking, problem-solving skills. The best advice I can give you is, yes, take some time to familiarize yourself with what's going on in the cloud industry. But the best thing you can do is just making a start. If you learn the core concepts, your skills are going to be transferable across cloud providers. So just make a start. It's the best thing you can do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments what you want to see next.